Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're trying out a variety of dishes created using some very special Japanese ingredients. Today's video is sponsored by Kokoro Cares, a one-of-a-kind service that delivers authentic Japanese ingredients to the world. They work with local farmers and producers, allowing them to offer only the best products. Now, they are a little bit different from other subscription services because while they include snacks, sometimes they mostly focus on authentic Japanese ingredients. Every month, they shine a spotlight on a specific region of Japan. For example, the box that we are trying out today is focusing on the Kanagawa region. In addition to their monthly and seasonal care packages, they also have permanent collection care packages available year-round. Click the link below to get 10% off your own Kokoro Cares package. So Kanagawa Prefecture is located right next to Tokyo, which is why um, we sometimes visit Hakone and I often frequent Yokohama myself. Yokohama just, you know, happens to be the second, my second favorite city in Japan. There are six different products in this particular box. And the first one we're going to start off with is this right here, Satoshi-san. This is their brown rice and miso energy bar flavored with umeboshi and dried bonito. Wow. Yeah. You know, miso. Miso, yeah. Not just miso, bonito flakes. Bonito flakes. Oh, right. very Japanese. Very Japanese, yeah. You know, I'm used to having like energy bars being more like granola or like a protein bar, but this one is all Japanese. Mm. This is really, really unique to me. I've never seen a Japanese based um, energy bar, like never ever. And I think this is a, a brown rice, puffed brown rice. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'm kind of shocked at how good this is. Eating like Japanese gohan. Furikake gohan. Yeah, like furi or like ochazuke. Ochazuke. Mm. Which is tea rice. Mm -hmm. But I taste the ume, so it's a little bit tart. You get the umami from the bonito flakes. Mm. So after energy bar, mm. I want to drink something. So here is a tea. Mm -hmm. But this is not green tea. This is called tochucha. Tochucha. I've tochucha. heard of that before, but I don't know if I've ever tried it. Tochucha. And from Hekizan, the mm. producer is Hekizan. Mm -hmm. Tochu is, came from China. Mm -hmm. And it is used for um, Chinese medicine, uh -huh. as a Chinese medicine. I see. For the longest time. Right. In English, it says uh, organic Eucomia tea. I, I'm not sure oh, how Eucomia. To I did not know pronounce that. that. So I guess Eucomia tea would mean tochucha. I mm. think so too. Mm. I see. Interesting. And, and it says that this is um, uh, naturally caffeine free because you're not really using a uh, tea. They're using uh, this uh, Eucomia uh, tree leaf. This one. It's very easy to drink. I used to do drink tochucha mm -hmm. before and tochucha has a um, very unique aroma mm. sometimes some people don't like the aroma but this one it doesn't have a strong aroma so it's very easy to drink it is it is um i thought it was going to taste more like medicine mm -hmm. but it actually reminds me of a japanese green tea but grassier if that makes sense. Grass, but, yeah, but, but not, that's right. That's not bad. That's not a bad thing. They grind the entire leaf into the fine powder. Mm. So you're actually, it's almost like you're eating the entire leaf mm. of the plant. It's like a matcha. Yeah, kind of reminds me <laughs> of like matcha. matcha. And usually in their uh, uh, pamphlet like this, they have a brochure that gives you information on all the ingredients. They usually include a couple of recipes and it's no different this month. They have a recipe for the pork belly somen champuru, which is an Okinawan dish and a chili oil tofu donburi, which we will be making right now. So first, I will make chili oil tofu donburi. So according to the recipe, I prepare the one block of tofu and wrap this with paper towel and microwave two minutes. So next, I will prepare menzuyu 
we have this type of mentsu. It's pretty easy in Japan, but you don't have mentsu, I think. But don't worry, there is a direction how to make mentsu. So, the, you need water, dashi powder, mirin, and soy sauce. And this dashi powder and soy sauce is included in the first box of Kokoro Kea. It is called Creative Beginnings. In this first box, Creative Beginnings, there is essentials of Japanese cooking. So, I already prepared this mentsuyu. I will pour this rayu. One tablespoon rayu. Like this. And add a half teaspoon of sesame seeds. And mix well. Put rice in your favorite bowl, like this. And on top rice, the tear the lettuce leaves, like this. You, need, you don't need so much lettuce leaves. This is broccoli sprouts. And break the tofu into this bowl, like this. And pour this sesame oil and menzu combination on top of tofu. Mmm, looks yummy and aroma is fantastic. And there are nori sheet on top of this tofu. Nori and chili oil is a very good combination. So I will make somen champlu. So first I will boil somen. I already prepared the boiling water. And this is a kaze no somen in the kokoro care package. It's beautiful, beautiful somen. Put this somen into this boiling water and boil two minutes. Okay, it's two minutes past. Drain water. Put this somen in this calendar. Okay, and set aside. This is a frying pan and pour tablespoon of one tablespoon of sesame oil pork berry 50 grams of pork berry and and 50 grams of cabbage and cook until the pork no more pink okay pork is ready no more pink so dump this salmon inside Add half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of dashi powder, instant dashi powder, and quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and combine very well, mm -hmm. evenly, evenly. Okay, and transfer to a plate. I made this somen champlu with yes. this somen, uh -huh. kaze no somen, wind somen. Wind somen. Yes. Why it is called wind somen? Because they they dry this noodle with natural wind. Yeah, it's really interesting. You know, um, it says that they've been making these noodles since 1877 in Kanagawa, and although many companies have moved towards mass production of making noodles. They are making it the traditional way. They're making it all by hand. So, um, and that kind of results in a different texture as well as flavor mm, of the noodles. Mm -hmm. So this one you use the noodles. Noodles. And, and also... They recommend to pour this sesame chili oil. Right, called la yu in yu. Japanese. Uh, we usually use this for like the, the dipping sauce for the gyoza. gyoza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can use this for many, many things mm -hmm. such as dressings, soups, and you know dipping sauces as well um, and this is a very very famous company right yes UI sesame, UI chili, sesame oil. chili oil they've mm. been making this for over 150 years mm -hmm. and they haven't changed their formula so exciting okay so let's give this a try I am starving ah oh, smells amazing immediately I, I smell that uh, la yu the chili oil oh that gets my appetite going itadakimasu, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh, mm. The texture of this so man. Yes, it's good. You immediately notice that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But so man is usually, it doesn't have this like bouncy texture. Mm. It's usually softer. I don't know why. It's different. <laughs> mm. And the chili yeah. oil. The chili oil is so good. So flavorful. Has a little bit of kick. Mm. So I gotta try just the noodles again. Mmm. What? Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. I want to buy this so man as it is. <laughs> Me too. Mmm. Eh. Mmm. Mmm. It's so different from the typical somen that you buy at the supermarket. Like, it's so different. So different. It's not so bouncy. It's already... Mm. What should I say? It's soft. It takes a little bit of time after I boiled it. Because I, I have to do cook in the frying pan. Mm -hmm. So it becomes more soggy regularly. Usually. usually. Mm. But this one, it's not. No, it has retained mm. the texture. Yeah. The, the slightly firm texture. Mm. And there, even the flavor is a little bit different. different. It, doesn't, it doesn't just taste like white flour. Mm, mm, Salmon is usually, I don't know, it's like a, it just tastes like, well, you know, flour noodles. But but this one, I, I don't know, oh. it's, it's, it's yeah, different. Yeah, a little bit different. And I realized the Exciting. original color, mm. the noodle color, mm. is a little bit different. That's right. Regularly, it's, it's pure white. That's right. But this one, it's like soba, soba yeah. noodle. It kind of reminds me of like, a little bit like of like light colored buckwheat noodles, mm, huh? Mm. All right, the second dish is the chili oil tofu donburi, mm -hmm. and um, can I just say that this is like you just kind of like slapped everything together. It was so easy to make. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's hard to call it cooking. <laughs> is it cooking? I microwaved the tofu. That's true. You microwaved the tofu. <laughs> I think this would be great, like on a hot summer day. You know, yeah. you don't feel like mm, cooking. Very easy cooking. Yeah, and it's super nutritious too. All right, let's give it a try. So this is basically just. A whole bunch of ingredients, not a lot of ingredients, but a few ingredients with just a mm. that, that chili oil part on top, right? Mm. Is it good? Mm. Mm. It's chili oil. Chili oil is really good. It is. The seasoning is meant to you, just meant to you. Right. Mm. Mm. I like it. It's so simple, but this chili oil mm. is so flavorful. It's such a good seasoning. Mm. It go into with rice. Mm. Mm. I think this will match like like a lot of different things. You know, you can spice things up mm. um, using this chili oil. Very delicious. Mm. Very good sesame taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Finally, the last thing we're going to be trying is this right here. This is so interesting. This is natto koji paste. I know many of you guys, when you hear natto, you just want to run out the door. Um, but we'll see. I mean, this might be different. This So this is natto and I koji. I love, 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 love <laughs> natto. It's like a shio koji. Like shio koji. Shio koji. And this is one is natto. Natto soruto. Nat, shi, natto. <laughs> natto soruto. Natto, natto, natto soruto. <laughs> well, well, what are you even <laughs> talking about? So, this is two fermented ingredients combined into one. Natto, Natto is and fermented. koji. Koji is also fermented, so it, it's very, very good. And fermentation has always been used in Japan to preserve food. Oh, mm -hmm. smells a little bit like miso to me. Miso, mm -hmm. soy, soy sauce. Yeah, mm. interesting. It doesn't smell bad at all. I can smell the natto though, that, mm. that fermented mm. uh, bean smell. Mm. So this is from a, a company called Toyokuniya in Kanagawa Prefecture. Um, it, it's a family-run business. Okay, so um, they said you can eat this in a variety of ways, mm -hmm. and one of the um, suggested ways is uh, eat them on crackers, uh, mixing uh, cream cheese and some of this natto koji paste. Mm -hmm. If you want to eat as Japanese, mm. put on the rice or make onigiri rice ball. Mm, onigiri cheese. rice ball. Mm -hmm. okay. Natto is a very good ingredient yeah. for them, for the night rice. This is really interesting. Mm -hmm. A little bit scary. I don't know why. <laughs> it's good. Even it if good. you don't like natto, you can eat this. Oh yeah. 
try this part, you know, with mm. natto, natto, natto pot. Mm. Yeah, there's some soybeans in there. Mm. Of course, I love natto, but there's no, no strong aroma of natto. So you can eat this. And the, the soy sauce flavor and the koji sweetness is really good. It matches with cheese. Cheese is also fermented. So there are three fermented ingredients inside. Of this, this is amazing. I love this. I really, really love this. Hmm. Wow. Has this been around for a long time? Why have I never known about this product? Yeah. <laughs> this is delicious. Yeah. So we have one final item left, and this is the Kamakura Daibutsu candy. Right? Wow. Yes. The and shape is Kamakura Daibutsu. Exactly. One of, one of the famous uh, Buddha sculptures in Kamakura. Everyone goes to visit that. To make these special candies, a modeler from Takaoka City in Toyama Prefecture was asked to create a miniature representation of that famous sculpture. I amazed. The detail. Mm. Yeah, and this is simply made with a... Uh, um, nani? Hachimitsu? Uh, no, no. Uh, Mizuame. Mizuame. Japanese Mizuame, oh. which is like a, a, a sugar starch syrup. And it just says, enjoy as is. Let the candies dissolve slowly in your mouth. Wow. To savor the well wishes of the great Buddha. <laughs> great Buddha. May I eat great Buddha? Mm. <laughs> That's mm. nice. It's a very gentle sweetness. It's it doesn't have like that sugary sweetness. Yeah. Natural flavor. Mm. Natural mm. sweetness. Mmm. Mm. What a great way to end this video. Mm. I have to say, I am um actually very, very uh pleasantly surprised and happy and excited at the same time. Because um first of all everything is really delicious and I've always wanted to try tochucha. I'm glad I got to try it and I'm a fan of it now. And then everything, like the somen and the, the natto koji, like and these are things, all oh right, and the chili oil. These are things that um, I wish I knew they existed before trying these products. I never knew about these. Me too. This is the best somen I've ever mm -hmm. had in my entire mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. By the way, I mentioned earlier that Hakone is located inside uh, Kanagawa Prefecture and this particular box comes with a Hakone food oh, travel wow. guide. Food travel guide. The picture is Hakone Tozan Railway. Yes. Um, <laughs> which is not really my favorite mode of transportation because, you know, it's small and it's usually it's very crowded. crowded. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it's, one of, it's one of the highlights of um, Hakone. But I've always wanted something like this. A guidebook to show me what I should be eating in Hakone mm -hmm. because that's something I don't know. I only know the onsen manju and soba, and that's about it. And they have a whole bunch of places onsen that I can visit next time. Good. I'm like, I know, but like they have like other stuff we can eat. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Well, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if this is something that sounds interesting to you, make sure to check them out. Just click the link below this video and you get 10% off your own Kokoro Cares box. Don't forget to use that code that we mentioned right here in text. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye! Bye, guys!